What's going on guys? So I've got something really exciting today. I just got it in the mail. I am so stoked on this guys. You have no idea. Polaroid released some new film and I bought five packs to, uh, to shoot. And we are gonna go test out a pack today. I am so excited, you have no idea. The, re the reclaimed edition I just I've been waiting for a good blue pack this is new film uh, chemicals too this is a whole new process uh, they discovered a, a chemical reacted with the color uh, film development and yeah yeah it's a uh, it's got a cool reaction where it turns these different tones of blues and stuff so it's the color process with a new chemical that makes it react and turn blue so this is brand new never been done i am so excited to shoot this i mean not only is it something new but it's it's just it's polaroid too guys come on instant film who doesn't love it reclaim blue we're gonna go shoot a pack we're gonna go a little run i'm gonna try to get a portrait of my son too before he goes to work but i'm gonna shoot it all on the one step two this is kind of my go-to camera because I have the one step and the one step plus, but they overexpose all the time. Um, so I'm going to go with the tried and true and the reliable one step two. And that's what we're going to shoot today. We're going to use the one step two with the blue film. I am stoked. You have no idea. I've been waiting on this. I ordered it the day it dropped. I saw it on Instagram on in an instant, all that stuff. And they got it to me really, really quick. So I'm, I'm stoked. I've got five packs to play with. And as you know, I'm doing that year challenge of photo a day. I've still not missed a day. So this will be fun to have some of this to go into that yearly challenge. It has been in the mailbox all day. I hope it's okay. It's been hot here in Tennessee today. It was like 86. So I'm hoping, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Should be though. I'm gonna put these in the fridge for sure. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna go shoot eight shots. We're going to see what we get. We're going to test it out. We're going to get our first impressions. I, I'm just stoked, man. Brian, what's his name? Brian Slogus. Slog, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name, dude. Brian Slogus. I know it's wrong. I know it. East Tennessee, just forget me. But he, he is the inventor of it. I'm pretty sure... If you're big into Polaroid, you followed it, you follow their Instagram, you know all about him and the process. In an instant, just dropped a video, which I'll put in the link below too, uh, covering all that. So yeah, we, and the purpose of this video is to go test it out for ourselves. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out, we're gonna shoot this, and we're gonna have some fun. I'm excited, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I am, I love new stuff. and. I love Polaroid, so I'm excited. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go out, let's see what we can find, and let's go shoot some stuff. What's going on, guys? So I just left the house about 15 minutes ago, dropped my son off at work, got a good Polaroid of him. I'm loving the colors. So there's the first shot down. Loving it. Off the first one so far, pretty happy with it. Um, so we're going to walk around a little run here see what all we can get there's a basketball court over here that's pretty run down looking and gritty so i might shoot something over there kind of wander around the park see what else i can find there's a nice tree down there i like to photograph um really test it out different situations uh, i'm pretty happy with the first shot but that's just one shot we'll see how it goes um you yeah, know like i said using the one step two pretty happy pretty excited i like shooting new stuff it's a lot of fun like i'm having a lot of fun right now and that's what it's all about get out create stuff have fun you know just enjoy it but it's kind of overcast today which is nice nice neutral light so it worked out great for me <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna look around here and see what i can find like in the basketball hoops the hoops see what we can find oh yeah so i'm gonna sit up here i'm gonna shoot something right here i like this mm -hmm. 
All right, so there's a shot there. Not sure how it came out. I was having trouble deciding on what I wanted <laughs> and which angle to shoot. So I'm hoping that one comes out pretty good. Let's walk the track, see what we can find along the track. I love how the clouds are looking down that way, down along the Holston River this way. I don't know, when I get around, I might try to shoot something with a river down there since it's a nice neutral light today. But a lot of green, as you can see, real pretty. You got six shots left. Let's see what we can find. All right, so I really like how this looks here. You've got the feed towers up here, the river going, some nice clouds, shoreline. So I'm gonna try to frame this up and shoot this. I really like this. All right, so I grabbed that shot. So I've got five shots left. Still looking to see if I like anything. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that one. I hope it turns out good. You'll see it here in a minute, but I have yet to look at it. So excited. I love little country scenes like that. It's what we have here in our area. You work with what you got. And we have a lot of country scenes. <laughs> There ain't nothing wrong with that. So I'm working my way up here toward this one tree I really, really like. And I imagine that will be my next shot. Alrighty guys, let's move on up. All right, so here is this gnarly tree I love. I love all the bends and the twists. I love the mood right now. And you can't see it, but right now, maybe you can see it, hold on. Yeah, there's some cows out there. So, I think I'm going to set up and shoot this. Just love this tree. Alright, so I have four shots left. Not really sure what I like yet. Nothing in mind. I'm hoping that tree shot came out pretty good. It's real moody today. I love it. And that blue tone just adds to it so much. So, with the four shots I have shot so far... In the three I've seen right now, I am pretty impressed with this. And I can't wait to just really get into it. Got four other packs at home. And I will be going to Lexington, Kentucky this weekend. For the whole weekend. Frankfurt, Kentucky, the capital. So, definitely we'll be shooting more up there. So there will be a follow-up video to this one. With more film. I just want to give my first impression though right now and right now and I'm loving it as McDonald's would say I'm loving it which I am I'm really really loving it it's good stuff so yeah I hope this they can find one they can manufacture at a good cost and just have it permanent that would be nice so yeah so let's look around and see what else we can find. All right, so I have shot four shots here. I'm not seeing anything else I like here right now, so we're gonna go for a little drive and see what we can find. I'm not using my flash either because this camera does something weird with the flash on the, it leaves this little streak on every single photo the same way when I do a flash. So I'm not using a flash for that. And another reason, I don't I like using natural light it adds to the mood and the look of it so I avoid, I avoid flash at all cost all the time I mean even in my professional work that I do uh, you know for the National Park Service and everywhere like that I never use flash ever even when doing portraits I always use natural lighting because I don't know, it's just richer, looks better. So that's why, that's why. So you want a lot of my work, you will not see flash used at all. In fact, I didn't buy a flash for near a decade <laughs> of my career, but I do use it very rarely in really dark situations for work when I'm having to cover an event or something, but 
other than that, I really don't use it. But yeah, we're gonna ride around, see what we can find that looks good. I love the moodiness of the tree shot. I just looked at it a second ago. Oh man, it's eerie. That blue just makes it even more eerie. I love it. Good day to be out. Man, I'm having fun. I found a really cool looking truck. I'm gonna photograph here near this garage. So we'll jump out of the car and grab a shot. All right guys, so I just took a shot at the garage and then a small diner here in Sigourneville. Um, I was gonna eat there actually for dinner. <laughs> but they didn't take debit card, no debit, cash only. And who carries cash anymore? But yeah, I've got two shots left. I'm hoping these come out pretty good. I like both of the way both of those looked. Um, try to find something else, I guess, on my way home. We'll see. But yeah, still, still looking for two more shots. All right, so I had to be real quick there because I'm in the middle of the road. I took a shot down a street that has this real pretty um, home on it. I've always loved this home. I love the street. You know, and the clouds were looking good over it. So I stopped really, really quick and took a shot before, you know, some cars ran up on me. But, uh, God, that, that house is just so pretty. I mean, it had to be built in like the 1800s, early 1900s. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous home. Um, yeah. So, hoping that one comes out for sure. <laughs> but, oh man, I'm still looking for one more shot. So, hopefully... I come across something pretty soon but yeah I couldn't film that spot because I had to be so quick so but you'll see you'll see the photo here in a little bit I'm hoping it comes out halfway decent <laughs> I'm gonna try to be pretty quick here and jump out and take a shot of this house um, I've always liked this house I use it just for cows now so the cows kind of run through it and everything but I'm gonna try to get a good shot here all right guys so I got my eight shots heading back to the studio gonna scan these in and upload them and we'll catch you there and we'll talk a little bit more on what I thought about it at the studio all righty guys all right guys so we just got back and I gotta say that was a lot of fun um, the 600 reclaim film has a great look to it I love you know the different shades of blue that you get it's not like I don't know how to describe it you know how like it's got like a rich black like black is black and it's just I don't know really dark I, out of the seven eight photographs I took the eight photographs seven of them I liked um, the one I didn't like so much was the one I stopped really quick and I was trying to photograph that White House and yeah I just yeah I just didn't like it too dark I should have knew better I shouldn't have took the shot but I did but I'll show it to you too here in a minute anyways but I think I like the other seven those other seven are really nice uh, again that one was just my one least favorite I'll have to say my first initial impression um, I love it love it love it love it I mean this is way up there for me um, I think they they nailed this this was just a amazing happy accident and they, there's only one thing I can complain about and it's really really nothing but if you're like me and you have multiple Polaroid cameras that you load I had all these Polaroids behind me they all have film in them I pick them up and shoot here and there and I open the cartridge to see what kind of film I have in it because I forget the cartridge for the 600 blue at least mine that came that I used today had the color tab on it for those of us that shoot multiple rows of film just like in if you were shooting 35 millimeter film you rip your thing off and put it in the back of the camera so you know what you have when you're shooting they should have done the tag like this blue on the box here so if you're like me and you're doing a photo day of the day challenge and you leave some cameras loaded with Polaroid film and you want options like black and white maybe today, color maybe tomorrow, you know, that would have been nice right here. 
So I think that's my only complaint is I wish this pull tab had the blue colors on it. And if that's all you're complaining about, that's pretty good. So I gotta say, I mean, amazing film stock that I've used. I can't wait. This weekend we're going to Lexington and Frank Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, we're gonna be there all weekend. I'm gonna take some packs up there. I'm gonna shoot up there. We'll do another video and do more testing to see what we think. But initial, the initial review is I love it. This is just amazing. I hope this is something they can keep. I hope they try different frames with it. Um, man, just just a really, really great, great product. Um, some different frames would be cool. The black frames with the blue, I think, would pop pretty dang good. Or maybe even like a dark smoky gray. If they could do a sm dark smoky gray frame, that would be dope. I would love like the dark smoky gray. I don't think they've done that. So that would be awesome to see. You get a new frame with a new color of film. So Polaroid, there you go. There's your idea dark smoky gray guys this was great i hope you like these photos here at the end again this was just initial test shots you know wanted to get something out there show you what it's like show you the product and let you see for yourself loved it i will definitely buy it again um i have four more packs over here i'm going to be shooting so stay tuned for the next video coming out soon i hope you guys have a great weekend or evening whatever it is wherever you're at and don't forget to subscribe. Help me out. Building my way up. Almost 500. Um, it's free. Don't cost nothing. Help me out. And we'll catch you next time, guys. Oh, and if you have any ideas on stuff you want to see, shoot them my way. We'll see if we can shoot it. Alrighty, guys. Bye. About 15 minutes ago. Oh, fuck. <laughs>